Hi everybody, just wanted to stop by and visit with you today. It has been a wonderful fall time, even though we had like some snow thrown in on top of it all, it's still been a beautiful fall. And fall time, especially the month of November, is my favorite month. Two reasons. One, it's my birthday, and it's always fun to have a birthday. And second, it's a time to remember what you're thankful for. Thanksgiving is my favorite, favorite holiday of all. And so today, my staff from FGIC and our staff from WWLM, we've all got together and we have something we wanna share with you about why we're thankful at this time of the year. So enjoy as my staff comes to share with you today. Hi, uh, I'm so happy it's Thanksgiving season. It's my actual favorite time of year. And what, what I like to do at Thanksgiving, it reminds me personally to think of all the good things that we have and to be thankful to God for all his blessings for most of me, my family and my church and just uh, people in general. I hope that you this Thanksgiving take time just to be appreciative and show gratitude for all the great things that God has done for you. God bless you this Thanksgiving season. This year I am thankful for having the opportunity to take extra time to appreciate in a greater way um, the people in my life, my church family, um, my home family, and all the blessings that I have that surround me each and every day. Um, the thought I thought of this morning was I'm thankful for family that was made by blood, but even more grateful for family that was made by love. And um, so this year I'm just extra thankful that we are together and that love abounds and I can't be anything but grateful for that. So God bless you. Hello, I am thankful for my family and for my daughter and son-in-law cooking for Thanksgiving this year. Hi everybody. I am so thankful today for so many good things we have. I'm thankful for our country. I'm especially thankful for my church and my pastor. And we are just, we're just so blessed to be able to do the things that we can do and to help people. And that really makes my heart sing. So I wish you all a happy Thanksgiving and God bless you. I am thankful for this beautiful country that we have. I'm thankful for my church, and I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for God in me. When asked what I'm thankful for, I'm thankful for life. I'm thankful that God has blessed me with a beautiful home, a beautiful family, I'm a grandma. I couldn't ask for anything better than that in life. But I guess the greatest thing I'm thankful for is that God loves me. And God loves all the things that are around me. And he brought me out of a, the miry clay, the Bible says. And that's exactly what he did. And I'm thankful for God for that. I'm thankful that he's kept me in such a great way. And through all of that's been going on this year, I am thankful for a great health. I'm thankful that my family's healthy. I'm just thankful for my church, for my pastor. I'm just overly thankful for everything that I have around me. So God bless you today. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving and thank you for being a part of that. I am thankful for my church, for my friends, my family, my job, and my pastor, and most of all, for God who loves me and is always there for me. 
Um, I'm thankful for everything I've been blessed with with my life in my life. Uh, I'm also thankful for all my friends and family and everything else that's that I have. I'm thankful for all of it. This Thanksgiving, I am grateful for so many things, but most of all, I'm thankful for all of the wonderful people that God has put in my life from my family, my friends, uh, people that have been my mentors that have stood by me through good times and through hard times. I'm just so grateful for people. And um, I hope that you have an amazing, amazing Thanksgiving time. And a uh, side note, the other thing I'm grateful for is stuffing. I mean, it's the best food and you only get to eat it one time a year. Anyway, God bless you. I'm thankful for family and friends. I'm thankful for a tribe and a village that's very supportive. This year I am uh, grateful. Uh, God's kept me another year. I'm grateful for my family. I'm thankful for my friends and church and just grateful for all the blessings that I'm surrounded with. I think more than anything I'm really grateful that God never changes. He never uh, falters. And then this year with all the changes and all the craziness we've seen we found that the characteristics of God are still unchanging. Um, when we face injustices, we find that he gives us a strength of, of forgiveness. And in the midst of violence, there's peace. In the midst of uncertainty and pandemics and financial and, you know, struggles, like all these things, I find that his characteristics, his unchangingness is a stability in my life that holds me, carries me through, and I'm grateful for that. God bless you today. I am thankful for my family, my church family, and my friends that gather around me and just bless me in different ways, whether they bring some food over or just give me a smile each day. And I'm thankful for my pastor and church family. And just God bless you and have a great Thanksgiving. This year, I think more than ever, I am just grateful for all of the intangible blessings in my life, uh, my friends, my family, his love and joy and peace and just all of the blessings that God has given me. I am thankful for uh, my family. I'm thankful for my wife, my children, uh, all those that are close to me. I'm thankful for my job. I'm thankful for my, uh, my church. Uh, most importantly, I'm thankful to God and I'm thankful for God, I'm thankful for the cross and all that he's done for me. There are so many things that I am truly thankful for that God has done for my life that it's hard to put it all into words because my heart is very, very full of God's faithfulness and his blessings on my life. Um, just that he's kept me for all these years. I asked Jesus into my heart when I was a little girl and I'm still serving him. Thankful for my church and thankful for my pastor and the ministers that preach righteousness because it's kept me. It's kept me all these years. Thankful for four children that are miracles. My husband and I are so thankful. Thankful for a husband that's a priest that serves God and teaches his family about God. I'm thankful for my three-year-old who just had a heart test and her the hole in her heart has closed and she doesn't need surgery. I'm, I'm beyond thankful today. Thankful for God's goodness in my life. I'd just like to say that I'm thankful for having Jesus in my life. I'm thankful for my pastor, my church, and all my family and friends, and just so grateful, thankful for being born in America. I'm thankful for God, of course, and I'm thankful for my family, my lovely husband, and my um, just all of my extended family. And I'm really thankful that God has chosen me to, to just serve him. And actually when I think about how grateful I am, I love that song that says, when I think about the Lord and how he saved me, how he raised me, and how he filled me with the Holy Ghost. And I'm just so grateful for God's peace, 
and his love. God bless. Hi everyone. Um, this year I am more grateful for some of the simple things in life. This year has taught me to be more grateful for things like toilet paper and paper towels and definitely disinfectant wipes. I love disinfectant wipes and they've been so sparse that this year I've really become to appreciate them. Um, but most of all, this year I've become more appreciative for people. I'm more appreciative for my husband and my children, my church family, my pastor, and just people in general, um, being so far away from people for so long. Um, when I see people now, it's just, it makes my heart happy. So today I'm thankful for you and I love you all so much and happy Thanksgiving. Wow, that's a lot to be thankful for, isn't it? Well, it has just been a joy coming to you, but before I leave, I am just so thankful, first of all, to God. And we all know that this has been a year of a year. But in this year, you have a choice. I had a choice. I could look at all of the wrong things, or I could find the good nuggets. And if you think about it, when you plant something, I really, really don't like digging in the dirt. I don't like it when it gets under my fingernails and you have to put water in there and it's all muddy. And, but when you plant something, it doesn't seem like it's the best environment, but it works for that seed. And out of all of that dirt, out of all that mud, out of all of the worms and all the little ants and the bugs you see crawling around, life begins to come forth. And in all of this ugliness, I have seen life come forth. And I'm just so grateful to God that he never left me or anyone that has been willing to come to him. He's guided our footsteps. He truly has been there all the time, which is one of my favorite songs. Sometimes he had to wait patiently for me to like say, okay, Ellie, you have like done enough on your own. Now come to me. But he's always been there. He's been there through it all. And I'm not going to tell you I did the best through this whole year, but I did the best with Jesus. And I'm grateful for that. So this holiday season, this Thanksgiving time, will you look around you? Will you pick up the phone if your Thanksgiving is not like it always was? There'll be a lot of differences, but find ways to still be thankful. Someone still needs your call. Someone still needs your love. Someone still needs you to reach out to them. And most of all, someone still may need a turkey dinner. And so you could, you could always make a turkey dinner, wrap it up, put your mask on, and take some drives around town and just bless people. There's so many ways that you can find the love of God when you're just thankful. And so I'm thankful today for the God that I serve. And I'm especially thankful also for those that God has put around me. Because through this time, my staff, worldwide staff, FGIC staff, has just been amazing. Many of us have worked around the clock um, it's been hard. Orders don't come when they're supposed to. Things have changed, all of these things, and yet I'm grateful that we have all drawn closer together and we've worked harder than we've ever worked in our entire life. And we work hard always to reach people, to help people. I'm grateful for our church, for worldwide staff, for the mission fields, like somehow, some way, God, has allowed all of us to just be able to still keep going and still keep moving forward 
you found ways to bless people. You went to convalescent homes and sang to people and talked to them through their windows. Nothing could stop us from finding a way to bless people. And that's what Thanksgiving is all about. So this Thanksgiving, just look around and be thankful for the many, many blessings. And all of those bad things will just keep getting buried deeper and deeper. And the blessings of God will just keep rising and rising and rising. And it won't be long until you'll be full of joy and laughter. And you're going to know that you definitely can make it another day. And I'm just so grateful to God for that. And I would like to share this with you because it says dreams don't work unless you do. So this Thanksgiving season, don't sit there dreaming about what you wish was. Just get out there and do it and make your dreams come to pass. Find a new way to do it and make it work because it's Happy Thanksgiving. And so from all of us, my whole entire staff, whole entire church, happy, 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 happy Thanksgiving to you. And this is my word of wisdom to you. Gobble until you wobble. Happy Thanksgiving.
Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>